Hey everyone, it's me Livia and today I'm going to be talking about my piercings and their pain level and just everything that you might want to know about them. <laughs> Before I get on with the video, I wanted to talk about today's sponsor, which is Dossier Perfume, which is my favorite perfume brand ever. They have luxury level perfumes, but without those luxury level prices. They start at $29 per perfume, and they're literally absolutely amazing, lasts all day, smells so good. They have this cool magnetic top packaging, which is very simplistic, which is perfect. Here's how it sprays. Beautiful. And I have a code which I'm going to link down below to hook you up with 10% off. And yeah, go and check them out. Give them all the love and support because they deserve it. So when I turned 18, I went a little bit crazy and I got like a total of eight piercings on my ears. So a little bit whack. It's been about two years though since I actually got all of them. So I have a good understanding of the healing process and just what it's like to take care of them because you know I've had them for two years. So I want to let you know everything about them in case you're looking to get these piercings. All right, we're gonna start just with the lobe ones. I have three lobe ones, and we're just gonna talk about the pain level of each one. Okay, so on both my left and my right ear, I just have my triples. So we're gonna talk about each one. So my first lobe piercing is the first piercing I ever got, which is pretty much a lot of people's standards first piercing. And a lot of people also probably got their lobe piercings at Claire's. I know I'm one of those victims. Don't do that. Like if you're old enough to make the choice of where to get your ears pierced, don't go to Claire's or any place that uses a piercing gun. It's just not good for your ear. Although with that being said, when I got my ears pierced in my lobes, I was about four years old, so my mom was on top of taking care of it, and they did never get infected, but that does not mean that the piercing gun is okay. I definitely have never had issues with my first lobes, but also, I regret not doing it the right way. So yeah, I don't have much to say about first lobes, but for any piercing, don't get a gun. That's all I gotta say. Now my seconds, I got these right before I turned 18, and I got them at a proper piercing shop, and all the rest of the ones I got at a proper piercing shop, so no gun. Okay, so the piercing shop that I went to for my seconds used 16 gauge, and I don't know why they did that. I'm pretty sure lobes are normally like 18 gauge, so I don't know what was up with that. I've never gone to that piercing shop again because I just did not like that but it took a while to heal and I think it's because they did 14 gauge or 16 gauge sorry <laughs> I'm no expert maybe 16 gauge is proper but I thought it was 18 gauge and I think going straight in with 16 is a little bit too much except for like if it's like cartilage I don't know I'm, I'm not an expert but it did take a bit for these to heal actually like it took me like a good six months to feel comfortable changing out the jewelry because it would just like get pussy oh, that's gross it would puss up and it would just close up immediately the second I would take it out and I'm like what the heck like I've had to re-pierce my doubles several times because they just won't stay even for a few seconds to let me change them out at this point though like two years later they're fine and i can change them out without having issues anymore but i do know that if i left the earrings out for like over a day the hole would probably be gone and that's a little bit annoying because what if i need to take it out for work i can't do that so I need to either take them out permanently or find a job that lets me have them, which I prefer a job that lets me have them because places that discriminate against piercings and tattoos, uh-uh, no. But yeah, I don't know why, but like all my piercings, except for like a few of them, they're just prone to closing like immediately upon taking them out. And I don't get it. I really don't. My first lobes they don't close but I think it's also because I got them with a gun so like it's broken the skin's broken they're never gonna close but my doubles and my triples they both close if I were to leave them out for an extended period of time anyways moving on to my triples I got my triples like two months or three months after I got my doubles and I got my triples at kind of like a sketchy piercing shop they didn't pierce with good jewelry at all they didn't pierce that great or straight I had to keep correcting them several times so that they would be straight and even and it ended up pretty okay but the place I went to not great just do your research don't go to a place just because they're super cheap and that is what I did and I'm glad that I only did that with my like lobes still because if I did that with like a cartilage oh god that would have been bad yeah I went to a 
kind of a weird place to get the triples done, but it ended up okay. My triples healed all right. I occasionally get like a keloid that pops up on this one in the behind but it like goes away and I haven't had it for like over a month now and it does feel like completely healed now so I think that might be it for my keloids but who knows they just pop up whenever they want to. So that is it for my lobe piercings. I hope that was a little bit helpful. So that is it for my lobe piercings. I'll go into how I clean it at the end of this video after I overview all my piercings because I did the same thing. So let's move on to my cartilage. So I have a helix in my right and my left ear and yes my ears are different sizes because I am my crochet and this ear is deaf. This ear has no function but to just exist and be tiny and cute. Anyways yes so I have this one and this is the first one that I got in my cartilage and I got it on my birthday when I turned 18 so that was exciting and it took a while for it to heal but it finally is healed I mean I know cartilage take a while anyways but a lot of people I've heard like after six months it pretty much feels healed there's no issues but I had issues up until about like six months ago and I've had this for two years so I don't know maybe it's just my cleaning ethic I don't know but now it's fine I do recommend if you're having any issues with any piercings take out hoops like if you're wearing hoops don't use hoops until they're healed because bad news this one definitely also got more and more crooked like it slanted as it was healing but now that it's healed whatever I'm gonna keep it slanted I'm not gonna worry about it it's fine now this cartilage one I got a few months after I turned 18 and this one's actually one of my best healed ones which is weird because I had major issues with it for the longest time and then one day it randomly like healed absolutely no issues I can have a hoop in it now and I can pull and tug on it it's not going anywhere it's not closing which is really nice and I love this one I think that it accents this baby ear so well so I got this one at a piercing shop at a college campus and I love that piercing shop there's such good prices college campus piercing shops are usually always good prices and they're so nice there love them so yeah do with that what you will if you want to go get some good quality affordable piercings look into college campus piercing shops pro tip this one I got at a mall I don't recommend going to malls even if it is a proper piercing shop and I don't know malls everything about malls is wrong even if it's like a high-end piercing shop I don't know it's just me but I would not recommend going to a mall yeah next we're gonna move on to my tragus piercing right here which I also got this tragus piercing at that one college piercing shop love them and this tragus piercing was probably my best one heel wise even compared to all my lobes which is insane traguses can be very annoying though because like they have a bar that covers your like ear canal so you can't really wear headphones unless you like push it up but if it's not healed you probably shouldn't push it up or mess with it so that's annoying but at the same time I'm deaf in this ear so I honestly don't care I don't even put headphones in this ear if I don't have to so it's fine for me but tragus can be a little bit annoying but they're also one of the most pretty ones in my opinion like I love my tragus and I love tragus on anyone okay and we're gonna move on to my last piercing which is my rook Okay, so rooks are my favorite piercings ever. I think that they're the most pretty, they're gorgeous, they're fun, they're tucked away. It's just a cute surprise. But my rook has been the worst at healing. It has been over two, well no, not over. It has been just about two years and I still have issues with this one, which is weird because this one, when I first got it, no issues for like six months and it felt fine. And then I had to change out the jewelry and it got messed up big time. But it's also been almost a year since I even tried changing out the jewelry. So I don't understand why I'm still having issues every day. It still produces crust, it gets pain. It's, it's really weird but I honestly it's worth the pain I think that it's so pretty and it just compliments my ears so much so I'm gonna continue doing it the rook can be iffy with pain so if you're getting a rook you really have to be on top of cleaning it and just taking care of it don't change it too soon don't force change it I would say get it changed by a piercer if you can because changing this on your own can be very difficult and it can irritate it if you just don't slip it in right the first time so definitely get help with changing it but I do recommend getting it because when you first first get it it's the least painful to sleep on because it's kind of tucked away so you're not directly like on top of it which is nice and it's also like not in the way of your ear canal or anything so it's a nice piercing but the healing process at least for me has not been the greatest but it's worth it 
All right, now I'm gonna be talking about what I did to clean it and keep them healthy. So the main thing that I started out doing like the first at least month or two of getting a piercing is every single night I would do warm salt water soaks. So basically you just need to get like a little cup and fill it to the top with warm water and then put like sea salt in it, mix it up and then just lay on your side and like hold your ear in it for like five minutes. It'll be uncomfortable, it'll be weird, it'll be a little bit messy, but it helps a lot. Like just soaking it in the salt water, so helpful. Recommend, do not skip this, it is game changer. <laughs> and then when you take it out, just like pat it dry with like a cotton swab or just something, be gentle, pat it, and that's like the main thing that you definitely should do. But then the thing that I did like every night also, after I like finished doing the salt water and stuff, I always just grabbed a cup of water, like a little Dixie cup, and then I put in like Dawn dish soap, unscented, like it's like a specific tie up, I'll put a picture right here, and then mix it in with the water, and then just put a Q-tip, and just clean around the piercings every night, and that's pretty much all I ever did. I didn't really do much more. I know that there's definitely more that you could do, but you also don't wanna over clean them, cause that can irritate them. So just clean them once a day, that's what I did. There's other ways though that you can do just do whatever works best for you but that's what I recommend and with that being said I hope that I answered all your questions about these piercings I'm not sure if I did I kind of just rambled on a bit but if you have any more questions about any of the specific piercings that I have shoot them down below and I'll try to answer all of them and if you're new make sure that you subscribe press that notification button to be notified every single time that I post a new video and I love you guys so so much Mom.